You ever felt like you've been clickbaited? Well, you haven't today. Well, technically you have, but technically you haven't because I have been on jobs where I've got back home and figured out that I deleted stuff by mistake or I lost everything and I've had to refund somebody their money. So technically you haven't been clickbaited even though it didn't just happen. You get what I'm trying to say. Um, has that ever happened to you where you deleted something by mistake and wish that you had a way to get it back? So I'm gonna give you a fair disclaimer. Typically I hate sponsored videos. I don't like them. But I promise you, if you stick around, I'll give you something valuable. A company called Wondershare hit me up, asking if I wanted to try out their software called Recovered. And at first I'm like, no, no, I don't want to try out your software called Recovered. Then I thought about it. A lot of times this happened to me. I wonder if my photographer and videographer, YouTube friends may want to see what this is all about. So I accept it. So this is a sponsored video. However, y'all know what that means with Terry Warfield. Can't nobody, and I mean nobody by my opinions, or my views. So in this video, we're going to try the software out. We're going to see if Wondershare can live up to the promise that they can basically recover almost anything. I've never done it before, never even tried it before. So I figure, let me bring y'all into it. Let's go, baby. All right, so we are in the basement, the laboratory. And I need to talk your ear off for a minute. Some things I need to tell you because I don't want you coming back like, Terry, you didn't tell me, blah, blah, blah. So Wondershare does have a free version of Recover. The free version will only allow you to recover up to 100 megabytes of data. Recover it will find everything on your memory card, the storage media, whatever it is. But to recover more than 100 megabytes, you will have to pay for a membership. And uh, in my opinion, it's not really a big price to pay considering you might have clients money on the line. And if you delete that, you can't get it back. So just make sure that you go through the packages, find which one you think suits you best and uh, keep it moving. So the next thing I want to cover is I actually did this test. I know I told y'all it was my first time when I was outside, but I came down here and I did the test first to make sure I at least knew what I was talking about. The software is super easy to use, so it's kind of hard to mess it up. So anyways, here I am with my camera and I'm doing a test, right? I got data on the memory card in here and I'm formatting the card. I'm putting the card into the computer. Computer's recognizing the memory card and it couldn't find nothing. It couldn't find it. It couldn't find nothing but the file structure. And I did it like four times with like three different memory cards. So I hit my guy from Wondershare, like, uh, this ain't working, bro. And uh, I'm not about to lie to people and tell them that this is working when it's not working. Now, fortunately, he was real cool about it. He asked me, are you using some type of format or deep format option? And I said, you know what I am? I'm using the format option on the Sony, which on the Sony, it erases everything. And he said, well, there's the problem. So I want to take this opportunity real quick to kind of tell you the difference between deleting some data, losing some data in a format. Now, let's just use a camera as an example. When you go to take a picture or a video, after you take it, the camera saves it. Let's just say to be non-technical and totally easy to understand. It locks the data of that picture or video, whatever, in a box, right? But when you press delete on the camera, it's not technically deleting that data. All it's doing is opening the box so that the data inside of it can be overwritten or purged or whatever. So that's what deleting it does. If you catch the information there before it gets overwritten or purged, that's where data recovery can swoop in there and grab that data. Two circumstances where data recovery might not work. Number one, physical failure. If you got a failed hard drive that's physically not working on the inside, data recovery ain't gonna fix that. If you format a card or deep format a card, that's getting rid of all of the contents on there. Standard data recovery software usually cannot recover that data. Even Recover It told me they were fine with me giving y'all this disclaimer. Now I'm not saying it's impossible to recover data after a format, but usually you need some type of much more expensive solution or it needs to go to like some type of professional dedicated data recovery center and you're gonna pay an arm and a leg for it. So anyway, with that said, I got some pictures and videos on this card just so you can see it. Got some pictures. If I switch folders, I got some videos on here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the contents. Now, the good thing with Sony cameras is you can kind of go by date. So if you're out in the field taking pictures and you go to delete something and you delete the entire folder by mistake, which I have done, this is where it's useful. So I'm gonna be right back. Let me delete this stuff. And then we're gonna put the card in the computer and then we're gonna see what this thing do. All right, so let's go ahead and take this memory card out, put it in the computer. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just verify for y'all that there's nothing left on the memory card. I deleted it all in camp. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so you can see right here in the fold, the pictures folder. Oh snap, there's some stuff in here that I didn't delete. But um, we can go ahead and delete this stuff too. So I'm gonna go ahead and purge all of this. I thought I deleted everything in camera, I guess I didn't. So let's go ahead and erase all of this. 
move to trash and then let's go back to make sure and clip folder all right i guess i didn't delete everything now obviously this is stuff from you know maybe that i copied from my computer or whatever but let's go ahead and delete this crap and then let's go to the trash can and verify once we empty the trash that everything is gone so there shouldn't be any remnants of whatever i just did left on the memory card so let's go to recover it and right here we can see my memory card which is a 64 gigabyte memory card before we move forward you can see on here where there's actually options to recover like boot sectors and all of that stuff i'm not getting into all of that i'm never in a situation where i need to recover a boot sector hopefully you aren't either always back up your stuff to external hard drives but let's go ahead and start the search now depending on how much data is on the memory card is going to dictate how long this software takes to find everything right off the bat though you'll see it start to pull files that you didn't think that they were there the other thing i like is how this narrows it down by file type so if i just want to look at like jpegs i could just hit jpeg boom there are my photos that i could have swore were deleted i can filter by raw photos which i had a ton of raw photos that you know i thought i had deleted that i didn't there's a lot of stuff on here so it's about 50 percent done I guess we'll just wait for it to finish doing what it got to do. This is fine, this stuff. I didn't even know it was still on this memory card, yo. I do wish it was like a preview option for video. I know for pictures, you can kind of go in here and see a preview. Oh, uh, look at that. We even getting previews for raw photos. I wasn't expecting that. Now, in the interest of time, you know what I'm saying? I already copied all of this data to an external hard drive, so I don't technically need to sit here and scan it. We can see the proof is in the pudding right now. The stuff is working, so... I got to give the thumbs up for recovery. So let's go ahead and I'm going to stop this scan. Now you can right click in between the pictures and there's a box that says check all. I already checked it. But that's how you select all your photos. And when you hit recover, it says right here at the top, don't select the same path that you recovered the data from. Because if you do, you can cause a whole lot of freaking problems. So just create another folder and then recover your data to there. So let's just come up with a new folder real quick. I'm going to go to my desktop. Uh, go to new folder and we'll just name it recover it hit create hit save and we should have my recover files back in estimated time one minute so we got about seven seconds left i will put the link to recover it down below in the description box if you want to go check them out if you want to test out the free version be my guest like i said just make sure that before you pay for it you assess what your needs are and um that's that so it's done let's go ahead and hit okay and then let's go to the recovery folder which it already did for me and all of my data that i thought was gone is right there so i gotta call that a win man i hope this video was useful for you uh, special thanks to recover for reaching out i appreciate y'all and just so y'all know for future reference i'm only collaborating with companies where i feel like y'all my people would benefit from it so don't think that i'm about to be on this channel just taking every brand deal or anything that comes my way it gotta fit man it gotta make sense i gotta believe in it i gotta think it's helpful and this is something that i think to the filming community the photography community just the creative community in general i think this software is highly highly useful and i'll always keep this tucked in the back so anyways that's all i got for you today man i'm gonna let y'all go piece of chicken grease terry warfield i'm out peace